can grab a hold of the intangible if I put my mind to it. can hold my head up high as I go on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello and thank you for joining me here today at Blurred City Cons Film Festival and Conference. I am your host for today. I'm coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina, and my name is Patrina Reddick, and I am the Executive Director for People Involved in Motivating Our Students Higher, and I'm also the creator of Urban Academics Online. What do you consider one of the biggest myths about autism? That kids on the spectrum can't learn. I think people have this this misconception that because you have autism that you're somehow cognitively impaired and that you're incapable of learning. Issues and problems. 
know, they have those. We're not denying that they have behavioral issues. What I want to say about autistic children is that they are children and that we love them and that if they know that, then they will do the best that they can to make sure that they try. And all you can do for an autistic child or for a mainstream child is try your best to get involved, get to know them so that you can strengthen your relationship and you know what to anticipate for this child. I worked at an organization once and you know, different diagnoses. There's all kinds of mental health diagnoses. Many people have autistic or autism or the autistic spectrum as part of their diagnosis. Many people are dually diagnosed. The people who have developmental issues are not monsters. They're people just like you and me. They have needs and wants and desires and they have rights that we need to exercise for them if they can't exercise for themselves. So if you are a parent or someone involved with someone who has the diagnosis of autism and you don't know what to do, Google is your friend. There are quite a few resources everywhere. Ariva Martin has a wonderful organization. Although her organization is based in California, her website is a resource that you could use and plug into and get information. And then you can always call me. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know uh, what I know about autism at any time. My phone number is 844-474-4474. 844-4PMOSH. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who wants to steal cafeteria snacks? Not like the, <laughs> like the chips and 
Uh uh. Let's do it the cool way. Okay, so how do you know if your child is autistic? Well, you have to take them to your primary care physician. If you see symptoms uh, that are not normal for children your child's age, uh, he's not meeting you eye to eye, he's not crying when you leave, he's not able to suck if you're breastfeeding, he's not responding to, to people he should know, he's not saying anything, any words, he's not walking on time, and on time for black people is, if you don't walk by the time you want, something must be wrong with the baby, that is not true, that is not true at all, many children walk after one. Many children walk before one. I know some children who walked at eight months and they didn't make them any smarter than anyone else. I've known autistic children who could read a real book before they were four or five years old, but they didn't comprehend anything they were reading, but they could read it. They, could, they had a gift. And that's that spectrum. That spectrum is real. And so uh, we have to re we just have to hone in on the idea that every child is an individual and they have individual needs, they have individual rights, and let's work with them one child, one student at a time. Now you mentioned there's a difference between African Americans and Latinos with autism versus um, primarily other races, what will be the difference that you see in the community with getting help? Well, the scientific evidence or the empirical data confirms that African Americans and Latinos are diagnosed uh, two to four years later than their typical peers and that they suffer more obstacles. They, they're met with more obstacles in trying to access services. A lot of it has to do with what we call service deserts. They're just not being the same level of quality providers and, and clinicians and practitioners in predominantly African-American and Latino communities. During Rich Man Day, the teachers they should tell the teachers to take us outside for at least 15, 20, 30 minutes for the original so we could get um, our energy out from um, our first box that we had. So, like, you should get education, but fun at the same time. Like, don't just sit there and just give us worksheets. Like, put some enthusiasm to it to make it seem well. You should. Make sure that, like, they if, know we, if we ask, it. if we ask a question, they should be able to answer it, and we should be able to understand it. Be able to, like, really teach me to what point I got it locked into my brain. Should like give us like copies of the lesson after they write it, so we could like study. Cause you know we have integrated tests, and like when it comes to integrated tests. We review, like, so they should, like, put packets together for us to review when it comes to, like, the last month before DOGs. And, like, they should break the stuff down. They should just pass you. They should just break it down for you right then and there. They should at least break it down for you. Like, I don't know how to say it, but... They really shouldn't just let you move on without you understanding it. They should at least have you understand what you need to understand. So, like, when it comes to the integrated test, like, you will know, like, the answer will automatically click, click in your head. So, and that's preventing us from learning. So, they shouldn't just always write us up. They should at least, like, talk to us and stuff instead of just trying to send us home. So, when you at home, you do not get no learning. You got a spinner? You got a spinner? You got the black one? You got the cube too?
What I'm saying to you is that your children are individuals. And please do not assess your child based on what you see other people are doing, what you see other doctors are doing, what you see other teachers are doing. You know your child. You know if your child likes to red light. You know if your child likes to dance. You know if your child likes to flip over and backwards and run all over the place. You know this. So why not? Let's find some time. Take them to the track. Let the brother run. We've got to find some alternatives to this medicine. I'm sure there are alternatives to this medicine. And autism is pretty much based on negative behaviors. If you have enough of those negative behaviors and enough factors that contribute to why you exhibit yourself that way, that's a fair assessment and that's a fair diagnosis that will stick to the books unless you challenge it. I'm not telling you to challenge it. I'm telling you to ask questions. To get to know what you want to know, to understand what's going on with your child, to understand what the doctors are doing with your children. Uh, and as I became more immersed in the subject matter and saw the, the grave disparities, particularly in African American and Latino communities and uh, poor communities, I wanted to use the skills that I had acquired as a lawyer. Uh, as a business owner and as a community leader to, to really impact the autism community. I didn't see a lot of grassroots organizations really working to empower parents and to give a voice to parents uh, who were raising kids and young adults with disabilities. So I, I was really first brought to the, the community by my own son, but then inspired by thousands and thousands of parents that I've had the the pleasure and honor of meeting and working with over the last decade. Yo, I'm gonna teach you about money. Teach me, I can teach you some fun. You'll start with niggas, dollars, and quarters. I Whoa. So where'd you get all that money from? Woo! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Here we are at my favorite part of this conversation. My favorite part of this talk is about why. Why are there so many diagnoses of autism? Yes, I bet you you could guess in three tries. Well, we're gonna cut the chase. Money, honey. Money, honey. Money, honey. It's based on money. There's no way they can backpedal this now because big pharmacy controls pretty much all the lobbying and all of what goes on in Washington. So with that said, that's pretty much why uh, one in five Americans are diagnosed with autism. Because you can't bill Medicaid or Medicare without a diagnosis. Sometimes the BMT, they'll tell you, they'll let it slide, but the teachers, they'll start, like, mimic, mimicking you and all types of stuff, so you well, get we, mad, and then the BMT come, they, they trigger your actual thoughts for a reason. What reason? If they know you're in a bad situation, they will, they will try to get you Some teachers will try to, bad. like, mess with you and pick on you. Like, they, they should, okay, so... Okay, so now for resources. Again, um, Ariva Martin has a wonderful program out in California. Although you may not live in California, her website has a wealth of resources. If you Googled, if you went to her website and found services that were on her website, 
and then you decide that's what you want, go Google that in your local community. And I guarantee you, someone else is providing the service. Well, it's a billion, multi-billion dollar industry, and you better believe somebody's providing the service because it is lucrative. PNOSH is a resource. People involved in motivating our students higher has been in the business of producing quality, age-appropriate music for children for years. And now, oh, about now we're in... We've been in the free public libraries for years. That was a major milestone for years. We've been in the free public libraries. Just go in there, take it out, check it out, borrow it. Sort of like Kendall is doing now with Prime. Um, and we're on Kindle Prime. You can go on Kindle Prime and stream Crunch Punch songs. You can go to Walmart. You could go to Target. Can you imagine that? The little program that could. Look at us. But that's how it goes if you're consistent, even with the autistic child. If you're consistent with the thing, and you do it over and over and over again to where they expect it, and it's important to them, then you will have better days. And that's not to say you won't have some bad days, because they all come. And we're here to help you through them. So look, reach out to Ariva Martin's programs and services. I don't offer programs specifically to aut autistic children. But I certainly have worked with autistic children for years, and they are all different. They all present different. Their skill sets are different. Their challenges are different. Their family style, lifestyle is different. Their parents are different. Their family makeup is different. They're just different and unique. And if you want to know children, you will get the opportunity to do that if you work with them. If you don't want to know them, they know that right. So the autistic child is not the one you want to play games with. You want to keep that thing straight. You want to tell them the truth. Because if they spot the untruth, they are surely going to tell you. may not have a sister or brother in your own town, but with a little work, uh, and that's why it's important to identify organizations like Special Needs Network in your community, because a lot of our parents, they've created networks with the other parents that they've met through the organization. So they met in a training program, and now these moms are, they are there for each other. So they now get do together. You have, is there a Special Needs Network in each city? No, uh, there is not. Primarily, our work is done throughout the state of California, and we have a lot of resources online on our own. Thank you for watching this wonderful segment of The Magic and Autism Habits with Katrina Reddick. That's me. Thank you so much for entertaining me virtually, and I guess that's it for now. If you would like to get in touch with PMOSH, our phone number is 844-474-4474 or 844-474. 474-6674 or 844-4PMOSH 844-4PMOSH 474-6674 that's 844-474-6674 844-474-6674 I've had a ball here with you today a big shout out to Clarissa Clay Yvonne James Ariva Martin and all of my students at Coolwood STEM Academy you rock. Until next time, this is Katrina Reddick, and thank you for watching. God bless you. All around.